Hey everyone, Paul here from FreeYouNow.com and this is Driving with Paul, episode number 20. In this episode, I want to talk about um, energy blocks, I want to talk about limiting beliefs and you know how those can affect you um, on your path towards reaching for your dreams, for your goals and you know achieving what it is that you want to achieve, especially in your business life, right? I mean, this stuff applies pretty much to every area of your life, whether it's you know your health or relationships or whatever, but um, specifically more related to you know building your business one of the things that you know I've noticed a lot of people um, having you know a perception on or a way of thinking around is you know they'll start to build a business of some sort right let's say that they're working at a job that they just you know really don't like and so they decide to see if they can build their own business and pursue some kind of business opportunity, right? <clears throat> and as they start working towards building a business, um, everything is kind of going okay in the beginning and they're moving forward and everything is, you know, uh, working out for them. And then eventually they hit a point during their journey where they run into an obstacle or, you know, some kind of challenge um, that slows them down as they're moving towards their goals, right? And there are two belief systems or two um, ways of thinking that really trip people up, okay? One of those things is that some people, what they do is they, um, they'll work towards something until they hit, you know, some kind of challenge or obstacle or, or some kind of um, situation that, you know, tr kind of trips them up a little bit or, you know, maybe something doesn't work out the way that they expected it to work out. And when they encounter that, that situation, what some people will do is they'll basically just kind of throw their hands up in the air and say, forget it, I quit, you know, this is too hard, uh, it's not worth it, you know, um, I didn't expect there to be any challenges in building this business, um, you know, and they think, oh, it probably wasn't even meant to be, or maybe this isn't the business for me, or, you know, they basically just, as soon as they hit one obstacle, or one challenge, or one, uh, you know, minor setback, they basically just, quit right they're like forget it I'm gone you know and they quit and then they you know go back to their jobs that they don't like um, or whatever their current situation is and a few months later again they're frustrated they don't want to be doing what they're doing and so you know they come across another business opportunity or another business that you know they think is going to uh, be for them and they start working towards that business and in the beginning everything's going fine and you know they're kind of going through that honeymoon stage where everything's perfect everything is hunky-dory and then all of a sudden you know they run into an obstacle or a challenge and again they throw their hands up in the air and they're like ah oh, forget it i quit right and they go back to whatever they were doing and you know two or three months ago that that cycle kind of repeats so that's the first um you know really destructive um, habit or thinking pattern that some people have is that they essentially start towards something and as soon as they run into even one small little obstacle or one challenge or one you know situation that pops up they just give up right the second um, situation or the second way of thinking that I find you know that I've seen a lot of people do especially people who are into um, personal development topics um, you know, new age thinking, spiritual thinking, this kind of stuff, light worker type community people, you know, one of the things that, and I've been guilty of this myself, is one of the things that we sometimes run into is we'll be working towards our goals and dreams. <clears throat> and let's say that we run into some kind of obstacle or challenge or something just pops up that, you know, maybe we didn't expect to happen. And what I find a lot of people do, and I've, 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 like I said, I've been guilty of this myself as well, <clears throat> is you run into an obstacle or a challenge and instantly you go into this way of thinking of, hold on a second, I think I might have an energy block or I think I might have a limiting belief here. I think I might have, you know, some kind of engram or, um, you know, or maybe I'm cursed or, you know, they have all these things that pop up in their head, like something here is stopping me from achieving my goals and dreams, right? Um, and what people will sometimes do is they'll kind of stop what they're doing. They'll just kind of put their foot on the brake and go, whoa, 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 hold on a second. I got to stop. I got to figure this out. Right. And instead of moving forward, what they'll do is they'll stop 
and they'll kind of go, oh, I need to go back into my cave, basically, you know, metaphorically speaking. They want to go back into their cave and they want to meditate on this for the next six months to try to figure out what is this energy block or what is this thing? Did somebody curse me? Did this happen? Does this happen? You know, is this an engram? Is this an energy pattern? Is this part of my DNA? What What's happening here? Why am I being, you know, why am I manifesting this situation? What's going on here? And they'll spend so much time trying to analyze what the problem is, trying to analyze what's this energy block or what is this pattern that's, you know, supposedly stopping them from achieving their goals. And the actual pattern that's stopping you from achieving your goals is this pattern of overanalyzing every single little challenge or obstacles that pops in your path, okay? And the reason for that is because I think the, the destructive belief that causes this, right? The root cause of this is that a lot of people are programmed with this destructive belief of thinking and believing that if you're going to be working towards, you know, some kind of opportunity, some kind of business, or if, you, if you're pursuing one of your dreams, um, you know, if you're pursuing a passion or a dream or you're building a business that you're really excited about, um, a lot of people have this limiting belief and this fantasy, this rainbows and unicorns type fantasy of thinking that everything is going to be hunky-dory, that everything is going to work out perfectly fine, there's going to be not a single obstacle, there's going to be not a single challenge, there's going to be no learning lessons on your path towards your goals and dreams, right? And that is absolutely not true. You're never going to have the straight path from here to your goals and dreams with no challenges, no obstacles, no learning lessons, nothing along the way, right? In fact, the reason why we manifest our dreams, the reason why we have dreams and goals is so that we can grow as people and we can, you know, go through that process and go on that journey and learn new things and experience new things. And a lot of that time, you know, a lot of times that will require us to shift certain things in our thinking, to learn new things, to run into small challenges and then overcome them, right? Just like any movie or any, you know, any, um, story you ever heard hear of any you know character or hero they always go through you know trials and you know tribulations of understanding things and learning new things and um, being shown new perspectives on things you have to expect that right if you're going to be building a business or even if you're just going after your any dreams goals and dreams in your life you have to expect that you're going to you're going to have this path of okay here's here's where i'm going this is what i want and you're going to think okay you're going to see a straight line between where you are now and towards your dreams and you're going to start moving forward but in reality what's going to happen is sooner or later you are going to run into a challenge you are going to run into a small obstacle or something that kind of um you know is unexpected that you weren't you weren't expecting it to be there right and there's nothing wrong with that that doesn't necessarily mean that you have some you know some kind of curse on you or some kind of you know, limiting belief or some kind of, um, uh, you know, engram or energy pattern that's causing these things and that these things are all bad, right? A lot of times the things, the challenges and the situations and the opportunities that we manifest along the way towards our goals and dreams are put in front of us there because we actually want them. They're good for us. They're learning lessons. They're things that are going to help us grow and to expand our vision and to expand the way we perceive things, okay? So the challenge that I see very often and as I said you know I've been guilty of this myself is that some people they'll move towards a goal and they'll start to pick up momentum and things will start to come faster and faster and they're like oh man this is great this is awesome finally I found something I'm happy about it's finally I found something I'm passionate about finally I found a business or an opportunity or something that you know I really like and I'm you know I'm moving towards it and then all of a sudden boom they hit some kind of you know obstacle or challenge right and they'll start to think, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This shouldn't be here. If I'm following my dreams, if I'm following my passion, it should just be easy. There should be no obstacles or challenges. Maybe I wasn't meant to do this. And they start thinking that, oh, maybe I'm supposed to be doing something else, right? As if somehow the thing that you're supposed to be doing is going to be all easy and, on, and all perfect and all simple, right? It doesn't work that way. Just because you ran into an obstacle or a challenge doesn't mean you're not on the right path. Just because you ran into an obstacle or challenge doesn't mean that you're blocking yourself or there's something stopping you or preventing you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge believer in limiting belief blocks. I'm, I'm a huge believer in energy blocks and, you know, engrams and all these different things that, you know, we all learn about in the lightworker community. And there's absolutely nothing wrong in seeking help and, you know, going to see different practitioners or even doing some of the, you know, energy clearing work yourself and overcoming some of these energy blocks and things like that. But in reality, they're not really blocks. Like blocks is the wrong word to use. 
they're just they're more like a slowdown point okay so you might have a limiting belief it's not going to block you or stop you from achieving your dream it might make it go slower it might make it you know a little bit more uncomfortable or more difficult for you to reach your goals but if you keep moving you'll still reach your goals and dreams right so what i'm saying is don't stop moving don't hit the brakes when you run, run into these obstacles yeah sure you can reach out and see you know is this an energy pattern is this a limiting belief is this you know a pattern that keeps repeating itself uh in my reality and maybe i can go reach out to some of these practitioners to see if i can you know get this thing cleared out so that i can move faster right but none of these things can stop you the only person that can stop you is yourself right you're the only one who can stop you. If you just keep moving forward, right, you can get past these blocks, right? There's no energy block or nothing, none of that stuff that can prevent you from reaching your goals and dreams. Only your belief, your thinking yourself that, hey, this block is here and it's stopping me. It's not stopping you. At best, it'll slow you down a little bit, but you can still achieve your dreams, right? So go ahead, go and reach out to practitioners or whatever and see if, you know, you can get help and because it may make it easier for you to reach your goals and dreams. It may make it faster for you to reach your goals and dreams. But don't expect, even if you had every single limiting belief, every single energy block, everything completely wiped out and you're perfectly sleep, you know, clean slate and everything's all perfectly lined up with your vibration and everything, everything's all lined up in, in a proper way and you're 100% on track with your purpose and your destiny here on this planet. Even if all of that was perfectly lined up, in every you know sense of the word you would still encounter obstacles challenges and learning lessons along your path towards reaching your goals and your dreams that's what i wanted to share in this video um, because it's something that's very important i I've see so many people kind of running into these issues they either run into an obstacle and then just uh, throw their hands up in the air and say forget it, i quit or they start thinking, oh, maybe I wasn't meant to be doing this. Or they start thinking, oh my God, there's, I got to stop what I'm doing because I got to go, you know, I got to go get figured, figure all this stuff out. I got to figure all these energy patterns. I got to figure all this stuff out before I can do anything else. Don't stop. Move towards your dreams. If you run into energy patterns or you run into blocks or whatever it is, sure, go get them taken care of. But don't stop moving forward, right? Just keep moving forward while you figure out what is the energy block, if there even is an energy block or if there even is a, a, you know, a limiting belief or whatever, right? Just keep moving forward. Don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your goals. And don't allow these two, you know, ways of thinking of just kind of either quitting or pausing, you know, hitting the pause button going, wait, hold on. I'm just going to pause for a while here. I'm going to sit here for a bit until I figure out, you know, what is this thing that's, you know, stopping me? There is no thing stopping you. There's no thing. In other words, there's nothing, right? There's nothing stopping you except you. You're the only one who can stop yourself, right? But your thinking can do that to you, right? If your thinking is, oh, I got to pause. I got to stop. I got to go back. I got to go back through my, you know, I got to go see this practitioner. I got to go do this. I got to talk to this person over here. I got to go meditate for six months, figure out why would I be creating these kind of situations and challenges. And reality is that sometimes the challenges and the situations are there because they're supposed to be there right? It's not just a straight path. It's not always, you know, rainbows and unicorns and everything going, you know, exactly according to plan. Because the plan, the ultimate plan of the universe, of your higher self, right? At the higher level, the plan looks completely different than the plan that you're seeing with your own eyes, with your very limited vision um, as a human being, right? Our, as a human being here on this planet living this life we see the plan and we think okay this is this is the way we're going we're going in this direction right but that's not always the plan sometimes your higher self has a much better plan for you right which will help you to achieve your goals and your dreams faster quicker and easier right but sometimes that plan kind of goes off in little tangents and we think that those tangents are blocks we think oh hold on a second, it's kind of pulling me in this direction over here, right? It's trying to help you get a shortcut towards what you want. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm getting pulled off the side here. This must be an energy block. I got to stop. I got to go back and meditate for six months, right? Don't do that to yourself, right? Keep moving towards your goals. Keep moving towards your dreams. Don't stop. Don't allow your thinking to make you think that you have some kind of block or something preventing you. If anything, sure. If you want to go see practitioners, if you want to go, um, you know, meditate on some of this stuff and use meditation to, you know, to clear whatever blocks that may be, you know, slowing you down. If you want to use affirmations, if you want to use any kind of technology out there, right? 
That's what I do as well. I move towards my dreams and if I feel like I'm being slowed down a little bit because I might have some kind of, you know, some of these energy blocks or whatever, I'll go work on them. But while I'm working on them, I'm still moving forward, right? I don't have to stop, pause everything I'm doing, clear the clear the issues and then go back. I don't have to do that. You can keep moving forward as you're clearing out these issues. And sometimes what you'll notice is that there is no issues. You thought that there was a block, but there was no block, right? Something popped up, some kind of situation, you know, uh, presented itself and you thought it was an energy block or whatever. And like the next day or two days later, or maybe a week later, the situation just completely fixes itself and you didn't even have to do anything, right? It wasn't, it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a challenge. It wasn't even a block. It was nothing. It was just something that popped up. It was a temporary thing that cleared itself up. And there was nothing, you know, really to concern yourself with or to worry about or to try to sit there and, you know, meditate on, right? So anyways, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video, just to uh, bring up these two points and just to really reiterate that as you work towards your goals and as you work towards your dreams, get out of this fantasy of thinking that everything is going to work perfectly 100% all the way from here till you reach your goals and dreams, right? It's not going to be that way. You are going to run into obstacles. You are going to run into challenges. There are going to be things along the way that will kind of pop up that you weren't expecting, right? But these are not things that can stop you. These are all basically blessings in disguise. They're all opportunities for you to get around. They're all opportunities for you to learn something. They're all opportunities for you to grow and become a bigger person and to achieve more in your life. And by the time you do reach your goals and dreams, because you've gone through these obstacles, because you've gone through some of these challenges and these learning opportunities, by the time you get to the other end and you achieve your goal, you would have grown as a person. And that's really the reward for reaching your goals and dreams not the actual goals and dreams. That's what you start to realize is that who you become on the journey towards achieving your goal and dream is the actual reward, not the reward that you get at the end. All right? That's all I wanted to cover in this video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.